He is best who is trained in the severest school by Thucydides. Now that really speaks volumes and you have to think about that. There has never been a shortcut for hard work, whether it's in training and the results you want or anything else that you want to succeed at. Go back to the days in school, go back to the days in college. Sure, there were a couple of brains in there that didn't have to work hard, that didn't have to study, that aced all the exams. But the kid that was waking up early, staying up late, getting the work done, that was the person that was succeeding, getting the higher grades, doing best with the exams, results in school. The person that raised, uh, rose through the ranks in whatever uh, job or business he or she was in, that was the person that was hustling, working his or her ass off. Artists, entertainers, same ones, losing sleep, skipping out on sleep, not eating. Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher, talks about that. I'm not a proponent of you um, screwing your life up and not sleeping and not eating, but anybody who got to the top never did it with that perfect eight hours of sleep and that perfect kind of ritualistic, healthy lifestyle. Those that succeeded definitely did uh, above and beyond what the normal people were doing. So think about that. In your training, are you really committed to the heavy lifting, the hard training, the basics, or are you pussyfooting around at the Globo Gym, checking that cell phone in between sets, talking with your friends, looking in the mirror? I've seen all that bullshit before and it's, it's pretty damn pathetic. You can't expect results like that. If you're expecting to gain 10 pounds of muscle in a month, then you're really unrealistic. And uh, I'd probably want to say, hey, are you keeping a food journal? Are you keeping a PR log? Uh, marking down all the heavy lifting that you've done uh, in the squat, the bench, the deadlift, the press, the clean, farm walks, all the basics. So it comes down to all those little things, staying committed on all those little things, and not just for a day or a week or a month, but it is year after year of making the progress. And if you've seen the recent videos of me benching 325, that took me over 25 years to finally bench that. After three knee surgeries, I'm getting back and chasing my heavier squats again. So the progress can always be there. Age is just, you know, that bullshit excuse that some would like to use. But you have to be committed to going through the severest school in any area that you want to succeed in. So whatever it is that you want to do, know your goals and know all the actions that need to be done to get there. And of course, be realistic and don't bullshit yourself. In one month, don't expect to be a world champion in anything. Put in the work, put in the time, be committed and be honest to yourself about the work that needs to get done. Take it from there. It's the simple stuff that are done at the highest levels, that pursuit of excellence, virtuosity, if you will, that allows people to excel and achieve great results. It's not doing the fancy stuff. It is doing the common uncommonly well. UndergroundStrength.tv, peace.